Hi, I'm Zach from HKN, and we are going to solve this circuit using source transformations. Specifically, we want to solve for the power used by this resistor. So we want power in the 15 ohm resistor. So, the idea of source transformations is that if you have a current source, we'll call this I, in parallel with a resistor R, in between points A and B in any circuit, that is equivalent to a voltage source with value I times R in series with resistor value R in between the same two points. So, if we look in our circuit here, we have two such cases. We have two of these cases where we have a current source in parallel with the resistor. This set right here is in between these two points, and this set here is in between these two points. So, what we're going to do is we're going to transform them into a voltage source in series with the resistor. So, the voltage source for this set is going to be equal to the current times the resistor. That's going to be equal to 30 volts. We're going to erase this. And we're going to go That's our equivalent from that previous set. Now, we're going to take this pair and do exactly the same thing. Our voltage source is going to be equal to the current times the resistance, which is going to be equal to 40 volts, and our resistor value will be the same. Those are our transformations. And one more thing we can see with this circuit is that this resistor is by itself in parallel with this voltage source, so it's redundant. Anytime you have a resistor by itself in parallel with the voltage source, you can get rid of it, simplifies the problem. All right, so now we can take this entire circuit, which is just one loop, we're interested in a value involving this resistor, so we're going to keep this resistor. But other than that, we can reduce this to one voltage source and one resistor. So, we have 40 volts adding up in this direction, another 30 adding up in this direction, and then another 30 adding up in this direction. That sums to a total of 100 volts. And we will put that here. Now, you can see
that these two resistors are in series, so they can add to a 10 ohm resistor. And we'll put that somewhere in here. Alright, now we should be able to solve for the current through this loop. The current through this loop is going to equal your 100 volts. divided by the total resistance, which is 15 plus 10. It's going to be equal to 25 ohms. That's going to give us a loop current of 4 amps. Now, we know that power in a, in a resistor is equal to voltage times current, which is also equal to current squared times the resistor value. Since we know the resistor value and we know the current going through it, then we have that power in your 15 ohm resistor is equal to 4 amps squared times 15, which is equal to 240 watts. And that's your answer.